Okay, so today I need to continue with the refactoring of uh, resources. I already kind of uh, got some things a little bit away, uh, but I need to complete it. So, for example, in uh, collision shapes, uh, the load function is kind of it's kind of detached from the specific loader now. So we have this generic load function, although right now that's given by the pool, which is going back to the the one loader. So I need to I need to properly like separate separate all this stuff out. So to begin with, uh, what am I going to do to begin with? Uh, actually, what I'm going to do to begin with now is I'm going to go along with the idea of. Uh, I've always had this idea like there's a lot of common elements between a lot of resources. So let's actually uh, get create like a base class I can work with right now. Like that. Some kind of struct. Uh, we'll have. <clears throat> what are we uh, going to grab out? We're going to grab out like the. These items. These are pretty basic and common. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so we'll have a foe resource ID, which is a resource. We're going to have these. Now this is I've been having a little bit of trouble with the state in my mind. Because state can be unloaded, loading, loaded, or failed. But the thing is that especially for items such as let's say images, there may be a case where you're loading it multiple times. So what can happen is let's say it goes, you know, it goes through the regular process. It goes unloading to loading, unloaded to loading, and then it flips to loaded and then instantly flips back to loading because then another process is loading something else. Then if you access the resource from some other system, even though it's technically loaded and there's another version loading right now, that loaded version should still be available for use, but you don't know that. So I need to kind of separate these out. So what I'm going to do is have a thing which is like is loaded. And we're going to have a new state type thing, which is going to say a new enum, I should say. Uh, so resource state like that. And we're going to say, hey, it's unloaded, loaded, or failed. It failed to load. That's also something useful to know. There's no real other states that I know of. Okay, so we'll kind of have that. Like this is also going to give me the opportunity to rework a little bit of this. So uh, we have a get that. Resource get ID. Yeah, that makes sense still. Um, get state. Uh, bool get is loading actually does that even really matter actually it kind of does otherwise it'll just spam uh, loading requests all the time so that does actually matter uh, return there we go um, I know I have some kind of custom things like if you increment the use count, then you it'll automatically load it. But I'm not sure if I want to follow through with that idea. But for the moment, plus but you know, actually, let me just copy paste from here. Copy and paste. So we got da, 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 plus plus ref count. Okay. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Got the same thing here. Uh, 
Okay, I do have a little bit of this. Okay, I can still probably keep that. What matters is it's not loaded. Then we try to request load. Um, maybe? Let's kind of put this on the burner for the moment. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if I want to have that here or elsewhere. But that's an idea to keep open. Because uh, I still want the resources to be able to, like, you can load resources from wherever they are. Okay. And return you count. Mm, whatever. Okay, there's still some common items I want to uh, public space. Okay. These ones go away. Load function. Okay, load function and that is set at creation. The same thing for import. So, well, do I want to? I'm not sure if I want to do separate like functions for import and load or just kind of merge them together. For the moment, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go avoid star and import context and void star p import function, which takes in nothing at the moment. Swap them around. It's not a member, it's a pointer because it's a struct star p Import context. Load context. Okay. These items will this. This is false. That, 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 that. That's five items that will be constructed along with the object. Mm, for the mutex. Okay. Mutex M modify sync. Because you only want one thing modifying the data at any one time. And then we have, I mean, You see, I don't know what it will be at this point. Do I? The answer is no. I mean, I know this one, but that's because it's the original starting one. Um... Maybe, 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 we'll see. Uh, is there anything else I really care about? Not really, that, 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 that. Okay, let's make a constructor for this. Choose the resource ID. 
uh, void star p context. Load function, do, 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 like that, okay. load function like that okay mm -hmm. that is the default that is of course a null pointer to begin with that allows me to wipe these out now Right, I do have that, but that's a modify sync now. And that goes like that, okay. So that's all that's left here. Um, oh, I need to bring these through. I need to swap that out. Context should always come before the thing. The thing goes into function, the function, same thing here. makes more sense to my mind mm -hmm. okay going to this side uh, <clears throat> instead of that it becomes so oh, whoops resource base Oh, I can just do it there. Um, resource the in uh, p load context p load function. Okay. these things okay they're actually real let's just pass them in these things go away it just leaves those two functions those are the only custom ones at the moment so it's not MP it's just M it's not a member it's not a member of parliament or a member pointer okay it should be still somewhat the same. Uh, we'll go down to here because we've modified how we're no pointer like that. Swap those around. Mm -hmm. uh, going back to the collision loader got some renamed items so it's no longer that it's states if the state is oh because I'm yeah okay hold on okay this is Here, we'll just kind of have it as a unique pointer for the moment. I'm not sure how to I'm just not entirely sure how to work with this quite yet. 
I'll just label as a P type anyways. Change that up. Mm, state and state. What is is it still? Yeah, it's still on that one. That makes sense. For the moment. Uh, until I get the is loading kind of done. Which will come shortly. But first of all, make sure that what I have is working so I can uh line definition for this really resource for context da, da, da. really resource context function context okay just a reorder of those, uh, this is state. This also be state. Thank you. This is what in the system. Ah, uh, yeah, this is in the system. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll keep this down here for the moment and change it up to specifically this again. Like that. Very nice. Again, does it work? Lovely. Okay, these we're going to stage them so we got part of the way forward. Double check, it works still. Because that one change won't have changed anything, right? Nothing broke? Yeah, okay, good. We had a whole bunch of uh, attempted loads. If that's a number of iterations through the loop that it took for it to actually load from the file. That was long enough, for sure. So I do need to have some kind of rate or uh, some way to slow down the rate of loading items to maybe one, at most you can be loading one, uh, I don't want to say one resource, but you can load each resource at most once at a time. You can load like unlimited resources in parallel, but each resource can only be in the loading process at once. I mean, that's otherwise each one of these would have been another loading request, and that would have just like gone crazy, done a massive slowdown. I cannot afford that. So, uh, what was I going to do next? I kind of want to change that, but I don't really have. Loading state, the import state. Okay, let's um, uh, the loader. Let us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this uh, like the, this. Uh, the 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 setup, the initial loading of the resource state. This doesn't really didn't have to be done by the loader. That doesn't really make sense. Rather, when you're at uh, in the resource, in the request load function. You do it here before you pass it off to the load, the import and load function. That makes sense. It makes sense to me, anyways. Hmm. 
We also probably want another function that deals specifically with importing, I'm thinking. Yep. Okay, for the moment, I will. Okay, let me move this over, since I seem to have swapped them around. Move that over a little bit. Okay, we'll have a new function that's like void. This will import the definition, but won't load the resource. There's the difference. Loading, load def. Okay, maybe I should just like load uh, definition. And load resource. There's a Boolean for unloading the definition too, or something like that. I'm not sure. Create info, which will basically be Okay, if we have a load create info, then we have a request load resource. And we can have a bool refresh create info. That'll re import it. And then we just unload resource and we can have like a load create info. And then, no, we won't. If we unload the resource, that we have a bool for create info as well. Something like that. Okay, that's uh, yeah. I can work. I can maybe work with that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. This collision shape, uh, low create info. And unload resource. So what will this do? This will increment the ref count. Then it'll what? This isn't really to do with Hmm. Okay, whether you're loading create info, or you're lo loading the resource, it'll block, it'll use up the loading flag, let's say. So, <clears throat> okay, we'll, uh, something along these lines. So, what are we going to do? We're uh, we're not. We don't have the flag. We have the just the boolean now. So you have auto. We're expecting. Uh, to be false. Uh, and then while expected. Fair exchange. Okay, uh, let me uh, f remember about atomic bool. Standard atomic. Uh, for do, 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 these two, what was the different? Um,
Okay, we go with a strong one. We're not going to loop this anymore. We don't have to wait. If it's not, because we don't have different states, we only have what two states. So, yeah. Um, dot compare exchange strong expected and true. If what right uh, the boolean returns what true if the uh, value was changed to false otherwise so if we didn't then we're going to just return. Source. Amazing. Otherwise, then we've got to carry on for the rest of it, which will be uh, what? Just the import function, I think. Uh, which we would do that, but technically we'd have to import uh, context. And what, what what would this do? Yeah, how would I get out of here? Um, actually, no. Decrement ref count one, first of all. I'm kind of starting to lean towards doing something else, actually. For the, rather than the split import function and load function, what if... What if I merge? Uh, I'm thinking of merging the important load function together. Okay. Thought. If I was to... Because I'd have to give the functions into the pool when it's at creation. So how would this look like? Let's say, if they were separate, I'd have... What would I do? Foe resource create info base. I'd return this uh, context resource ID. That's all I'd really need for that. Um, this hmm. that's the context that's we need and we go like return p group data um, get resource definition oops uh, resource Okay, if we have uh, the load function, or we have the uh, context, 
source what else because at this point we would have already added the, res the create info to the resource right hmm. uh, then at this point we'd have to go through because oh, at this point we'd have would we though would we have that information um, I need, okay, this would have to, hmm. the, this cannot be a neat pointer. It'd be a shared pointer instead. Uh, do I have memory? Do you just not know? Okay, shared pointer does exist. Thank you. Uh, so I know Interpret cast of that uh, P resource. Great. Um, ah, the P context that I'm really thinking of would be I just have to like bring in. The simulation state really realistically that's all i can think of and I, and i'd be pretty safe in doing this like just plain old reinterpret cast because this function would only be available here so like i know it's a closed system so i i I feel safe doing it in this like fairly closed area. It's all private. Now you like you can't you can't find this function publicly. You can't unless you're doing some very weird stuff. Yeah. So reinterpret cast are fine. So what what was I going to do? I'm going to basically do where's the search? Do I have search? I do have search. You got it. Or no, 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 because I don't know. Um, I really don't. Hmm. Yeah, how do I keep safe access to this stuff? I really don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to come back to that thought in a little while. Let me just uh, make a note of it. Um. Multi threading and access for certain changes. Okay, uh, where was I in here? Uh, yes, P simulation state. What we're going to do? Collision shape load function. We're going to go through. Through P simulation state loaders. 
I'm gonna go through each of them and then we'll... something I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to I'm going to have to know precisely what am I going to have? I need to know whether the loader can accept the I need to have a copy of it this so auto E collision shape okay I guess I just don't know what it looks like right now camera okay uh, da, 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 P create info Are you sure? I thought I could make copies of shared pointers. Or not copies, but like another shared pointer thing. Uh, give me the information. Operator equals assigns the shared pointer. Okay. Okay. Swap. I don't want to use count. Can I not like make a copy of the thing thing? Uh oh. It's because it's yeah, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I need to go through and say like if iterator can create info get then iterator you know process or lo load or mm, nah, just load it So let's say, well, I do have P, so we just, we know it's a collision shape because we're in the safe thingy loop. Uh, we can pass that in as a reference. And then we need some kind of function to call when it's done. Don't we? Hmm. I need some kind of like post. Uh, I yeah post. Um, I 
it'll take in what a that. Well, in this case, it'll specifically take in Post load function. Okay, uh, so we go to wherever the load base is created. Resource loader base. Uh, we have a virtual for uh, can process. create uh, resource create info base uh, returns false by default for these guys what the hell is this show fixes that's a new icon hmm. uh, okay where was I where was I? I need to forward declare that. And I need the other function for full. Ah, this needs to be, yeah. So that's not gonna work. What was I gonna do? What, does it return anything? Maybe not, it just doesn't uh, load. No, I need a specific tree info uh, that I'm working with. And then I need a void. Post load function, great. Uh, this has to be generic to void star for the, that. Okay. That can be. Sorry. Okay. As long as this exists, which it does here, this will be fine. So I can just do, give a raw pointer to it. Yes, uh, and this can, and this has to be that. Okay. passing error code around. I mean, I do wanna, but, hmm. Uh, okay, uh, uh, 45 minutes in, time for a quick drink break. BRB. Okay, and I've forgotten where I was. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, yes. Kind of. So this is And then I'd, pa okay, the import function and the load function, which I would pass into the pool. Um, yes, this would actually work for other types of resources brought in. And that would be, yes. Okay, so that would mean we would no longer have this. 
in the pool instead. Okay, so we can move this back out of that. Here, clear that out. Uh, this becomes... Let me clear that, clear that. <clears throat> pool. We no longer have this. Instead, we're going to have the other items that we're bringing in. So, void star p import context. Star p import function. Void star p load. Context. And void star p load function. Have that kind of stuff. Okay, what was what was it exactly? So this would take and avoid star for the context and for resource ID. Load would be oh and would it would return a that which we apparently don't know what it is. And then on the load function we return nothing and we pass in these three things. Okay, what was it? This was P simulation states group data pointer. Uh, import function and then for the collision shape load function the context was for this simulation state resource oh no and then it's just function so Okay. Yeah, uh, when we're here in the pool, we're then going to be like P or MP import context.
Okay. That brings us back to this, which is giving us trouble because of, I presume, load function has been changed. So it's now void star, void star, and then this instead. to do the same thing down here. Bunch of issues still going on. No matching constructor and initialize for what? Third argument. Oh, the import function. Yes. Need to update that. That's the import function now. here. Uh, so what do we have? Uh, when we import, we're the only one loading the create info right now. So that's great. So what are we passing? We're just passing the import context and then resource ID, get ID. Okay. Da, 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 da. Then so it is loading equals false. Reference count. If that, then we say, hey, p create info dot reset with this new thing. Is this not a import context create import function? This right here. Uh, this is that right now. Okay. Right.
Yeah, unload resource, Re uh, request unload. How's this going to go? This is going to go like similar to this. Our exclusive loading rights. Then we have to go through if. If that, I'm the only one here. So yes, although someone else can come around and unload it, but they can't clear the create info. The only way to clear create info after, after it's loaded is to just delete the whole resource. Then we need to go through this. Now we get down to this point. If we're forced to refresh it. Then we do. Then we get down to the loading function area, the area to actually load the function. Okay. Um, okay, we're here. We got the load context. We got this. Then we got the. We need the 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 function, the post load function. What will the post load function do? It's going to be something along the lines of. Uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do for post load function? What are we taking in? We're taking in this. Actually, don't we need a void star? We know what it is though, because it's coming right back at us. Okay, and then we have the standard error code.
OK. And right now, this is still all in line. I'm not, it's not asynchronous yet. Uh, but make sure it works. And I need to figure out the unload stuff. Uh, OK. OK. We got the collision shape. What was I going to do? If not error code. Loading went fine. So we, what we're going to do is we're going to set the collision shape. equals uh, foe state load state loaded else we're going to have to say like oh loading didn't go fine we had an error of some sort right so we do uh, error message hmm. that and then we got the error code dot value error code dot message okay and then we say p collision shape state failed then we got a decrement. Now rough count. To close this out. I mean, technically I would put this here, but I'm trying to like slowly async this out because this load function may go like, I don't know where it'll go. Uh, this will go into, let's say, the loader, which will have a maintenance cycle. So this won't be called until the maintenance cycle is done in another little while, in several ticks. Who knows how long, really? I'm missing some. Oh, yeah, I need to also clear out uh, this. <clears throat> so that I don't have to do this in uh, the loader the loader classes <clears throat> or functions. I just like this is handled by coming back here and dealing doing this. Mm -hmm. 
So this is also kind of bringing into the idea that I will also have a version of the shared pointer of info, info base. So we can actually compare, like this is the version that was voted. This is the version that is, that's the current definition, imported definition. The, this is the one that if I was to call loading now, to load now, it would be created. This is the what is actually the data that's the definition that was used to create the current data. I want to be able to see like if I try to re-import and then like they match like completely, then there's no point in reloading. I can maybe save a bit of stuff there. Mm. That is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay, uh, that'll be a little bit later. Um, we also need for data. This is atomic for this thing, isn't it? I don't really. So we can keep that outside the atomic area. Or the mutex area. Modify sync is mostly for dealing with this. So let's actually do this. I don't know if it's the particular type I'm looking for. I'm assuming it is right now, but it might not be. Think of this one. Okay, okay, okay. The only way I can really think of doing this is uh, what is it? It's looking for that specifically.
Then we want to do that instead, right? Okay. Okay, I'm expecting this to fail. Yeah, okay, it didn't fail as badly as I thought it would. But that's still a fail. Okay. Okay. So let's see where it fails. Collision shape. Load resource. I presume it's failing here at this point. Okay, hold on a second. Wrong file, first of all. Secondly, error. And I want to have a little thing sitting in here if... I don't need to, yeah. Let's change that out to actually be like a more useful value. Pointer of the thing isn't that useful anymore. And since I have resource ID, that's way, way more useful. Okay, let's uh, come back here. Right, I'm here. Expected is false, is loading is false. So we pass, we're in here, we're gonna, this is currently got nothing. So we're here, we do this, we got something, right? Yes, we did. We did that, so now they're both pointing the same thing. Same object somewhere in space. Okay, we go inside of here. Do this. We're going to. This is my problem right here. I didn't actually update the loader with the new functions. Uh, for these two. So back to loader, 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 loader. There you are. Do this. We have this. That and override. We got that. These two. Loader. Request something. Unload around here. Okay. Okay, now uh, this is, what am I going to do here? 
Both have, okay, so it's basically this, except I don't have to do this part. I don't have to read in the definition either. So I can just kind of... Do this. Can I return an error code? Hold on. <laughs> Post load function. Okay. We know, okay, we know. because we already checked uh, this before as well. So we know that this is auto start the version create info. Basically, at this point, we have the data, then we do the processing. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, we need the data. We have the data. Then we do, we, ch we try to process it. Um, What if I was to try to okay, move this up a little bit? What if I was to change this to return error code instead of doing the postload function? I do this, I return this, this returns to the registrar, which can then return this back to the collision shape itself and then I can do the post load function stuff right in here instead of having to kind of farm it out and pass extra pointers around that may be doable but then the question kind of remains is like how would I do How would I go about getting this asynchronously? So I load resource, but I don't want to like keep it in this. Whoops, sorry. Keep it, keep it in this thread. I want to like farm it out to another thread, much like what loader was doing previously. Because that, I mean, that was like when I called load. Uh, to this. what it would do when I request the resource load, it would put this in an asynchronous job. Okay, I need to think of a way to do an asynchronous job. Huh? 
How would I pass that? Wait, hold on. I already do that, don't I? Do I not? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, I already have this available somewhere. I must. I have it for the loader. When I create the loader? No, when I initialize the loader, right? <clears throat> okay, on create. On initialization, I have the async job function. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so. If I also make this available on when I'm creating. All right. Much like how I always have initialization info along with the sim state, I'd also need create info with the sim state. So the async function would just become a part of that. Hmm. Okay, I need a need a quick think about this. B R B. Okay, so back to uh, what was it doing? Async. Yes. <sighs> Asynchronous stuff. Um. Mm -hmm. So I need to update this the core. I need to update the core so that I can actually have the async error in this information available earlier uh, than the initialization stage. It needs to be available on creation. So if I if I can read where are the I am here core uh, core we have. On create info, create simulation, add name maps, and then I need something. We'll have info simulation create info. Uh, no point. Whoa! So I'm sorry. What? What the hell is this? Standard. Oh, I've never seen that one before. Anyways, uh, bool add name maps. And then we're gonna have a new thing, which is, we're gonna move this over to this one right here. Uh, no, we'll actually we'll just do that. We're gonna have a new thing. Uh, here. On create, so this means on state. So we got that. So this. Goes the core. We have the create, create, create simulation right here. Uh, we're going to have this dot new sim state. Equals that. It's basically a copy. <laughs> okay, so
set the common create info. Uh, that means we are removing it from here. Yeah, I already did async job function. That's good. So that means we need to, okay. This will be like a half thing. Okay. Uh, Maybe getting ahead of myself. I okay. You know what? This is a good idea, but I'm going to do it later. I need I need to back this out. Back it, back it up. Info back from to create info. Uh, another thing to add to the pile of stuff to do elsewhere. Um, okay, going back to here. What was I doing? What was a uh, loading? Loading, loading, loading. A return. Yes, that's right. I wanted this. So if I can actually keep this all in line, and instead I'll just do that asynchronously, perhaps. With the post load function going like that. So I can probably error code. I can return that, or I can otherwise return success. Like that. Mm -hmm. What else would happen? Uh, right, this, okay, let's put this in line for the moment. So what's going to happen is we're going to do this in line. State data, okay, and what was, what was the other thing? P collision, remove the data, P collision, the data dot p create info equals ooh yeah that's I need to hmm okay I'm not going to modify it. I need to pass this through a couple of the, the other layers as well then. So the registrar, this is going to become a, okay, so it's not so bad. Um, let me guess the problem this is why I don't really like oh no that's fine uh, okay I was under the impression that these require the whole definition to always be available and I said that may just be MSVC thing all right well if, if, if this is gonna build I'll be I'll be happy I'm a 
very happy little princess right now. Just overjoyed. So I don't have to include even more stuff. So uh, we're, we got that. We passed that in. So we now can just pass that in as a const reference to the local pcreate info. Make it very obvious. Um, what? What? Did I just not? Oh, yes. Okay. Ooh, yeah, okay. I can work with that. that and can process information like that okay this is wrong somehow it differs how how does it differ oh standard error code right standard error code like that loader base turns into standard error code great system error yes something somewhere I know it um, going back to registrar so we'd return something like that otherwise we'd return um, We'll put that for the moment. So that's also, come on, go back to this. Collision shape pool. Well, while I just run around trying to find all the locations that I need to do this. Yeah, that, that, okay. Then I need to, oh, right. Then I need to go back to this, there, there, and there, okay. Takes me back to this, to this. We've got a 
bit of an issue with this one. Okay, yeah. This is temporary until I actually implement. If this goes through and then I implement it elsewhere, then I'll get rid of this empty return for both of them, really. Make them pure. Pure, pure, blah, blah, pure virtual. Now it builds. Now does it run? Will I see something zoom past? No, because I have this. Will it? Did it zoom past? It may have just zoomed right past. Show me. Show me. Yes. I still haven't fixed the model loading, the mesh loading. I, I, I still need to try uh, triangulate the quads. So that's another thing. Fix mesh loading slash triangulate. If error code, then we can do post load function right here with this and the error code that we provided. We can just leave safely out of here. still a bit iffy on this. Actually, no, it does make sense to return like that. It, it actually does. Or does it? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I could probably run with this, can't I? If not, if new count equals one and that, then we can. Oh, it's not actually here yet. It's only down here. It's a fairly generic. So I actually should be able to move it up, but not quite yet. Like this is entirely based on stuff that has nothing to do specifically with this and I think pretty much the same for this so far yeah okay we're so we're in, we're in the loading section of the loader so we're, we're, we're good we're stable right we're in a good state It's just going to fly by. Great. Great, 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 great. Um, so let's scrap these older ones. Load resource, yeah. So this old function is gone. That's been 
placed. Uh, request resource unload and request resource load. See, that, those are dangerous functions. Realistically, you almost never have access directly to the, the loader anyways, and you don't need it. So these are gone. Uh, okay, right now it's just immediately putting it in, right? Yeah. So it may be uh, accidentally replacing something that's already in use and should continue to be in use until the next uh i don't want to change resources mid um mid simulation i guess during a simulation tick there's two there's there it much like um for graphics stuff it should really be like on a separate maintenance portion of the tick the cycle or whatever the loop i should say rather than being done immediately, like this. So. That, okay, the, the async jobs, that's gone. The import function, that's also gone. These are, these are just gone. Basically all of this is gone. Right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're ju they're just gone. They don't don't need them. Um, I guess I need initialize, but it doesn't really matter. It's just return true. It's always initialized. There's no active jobs. There's none of that. Okay, that means going to registrar, we can, we don't need these anymore. I mean, technically we don't really need to call initialize, but I'll still call it just for, <sighs> just because at the moment. Because deinitialize is still going to have to do something. Deinitialize is still going to have to deal with, um, unloading of resources right no 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 this doesn't no hmm Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's work on the maintenance stuff then uh, for this loader because we want to do it in a kind of somewhat staged manner, which means not just uh, instantly putting the stuff in on success like this. This is not great. So <clears throat> let's say we have mutex. Don't know why we have a comic. We don't need that. Do we have functional? Do we need that? No, we don't need that. We have error. That makes sense. Throw to base. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. M load request, uh, load sync. I've asked the for uh, requests of items. Would it be a vector? Uh, 
I'm just going to make it a vector. It's probably cheaper to do a list of some sort or a queue or something. But I'm not really all that concerned. Not right now. It'll be easy enough. We'll have something called load data. To load, and we need something similar for on the way out. So, mutex and load request sync. When I'm loading something, I'm going to have several bits of data. I need this. I need okay. No, I need the the collision shape. I need uh, the post load function. create info that I have so uh, we don't know if it's that actually fo um source create info base and we have the data this ability to, to type and to speak generally okay so that's the stuff I need to load basically run this process that There was, I had something going on uh, to do with iterations. No, I don't. I thought I was. Modify sync, okay. Okay, um, 
So what was the idea behind that? I was going to, yes, yeah, struct unload data. To prevent accidentally uh, unloading. If I make a request to unload, then I also want to make sure that I'm, I'm going to unload the current iteration rather than let's say the next, the iteration that is just about to be loaded in after. So I want to make sure like if I have that and I have the unit 32 t iteration, iteration of the resource. So this can be outside the modify set, right? Or it really should be within because this is the iteration of the data. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Um, let's work some through some of this stuff before I lose track again of exactly where I was going with a lot of this. I got just enough of this state in my mind to be able to figure uh, to do some of this. So, let's say I'm going to back out of this being uh, returning uh, that because really there's more of a case of it not doing that. Makes a bit more sense to rather just if then I'm just run p post load function with p resource comma that then return. On success, what's going to happen is m load sync lock it up. And the data like that. Close it up and load. Dot and log. Looks like uh, Clang B is about to start failing. Great. Oh, no, it's still going. Okay. Uh, if we do that, then we got it. We have. Instead of these two, we're gonna have like a void maintenance kind of cycle instead. Uh, right about here. Unloads, and we're going to have a thing where we're going to process loads. 
So, let's say we're going to process mm, loads. We do that, we're going to auto to load, equals standard move to load. So you just you have that for the minimal amount of time required. I'm going to go through four. Auto. Oh wow, I'm really starting to lose the ability to type here. The ability to unload items is Hmm. Let's get the rest of it. The iteration it dot p collision shape. Comes what uh, data or um, move iterator dot p create info. Wait, hold on. Just move that stuff around. Okay. That is already part of that. So don't have to worry about that. No, I already updated that stuff. So I just need to set the that. No, I wouldn't even have to do that. I because that would be done by the post load function. Uh, empty because it was good. I don't touch the state of it and I don't need the loader no longer needs to touch the state of the object which is a good thing okay um,
do I have something to run? Okay, let's loader base. Let's add a maintenance thing. By default, does nothing. Great, uh, but this one does do something. Do I have? Um, in the application, I need to run it. So I have this for component pool. So I just want to do the same thing for auto and iterator for P simulation set. Okay. Uh, one thing I do need to actually is when I'm in here to modify uh, where am I loader here when I'm modifying I need to that and then I need to unlock it afterwards right shift more of this away from here but I'm not like I have vague ideas again for function pointer nonsense whatever not quite there yet I need to deal with unloading now I cannot rely on the fact I cannot just call the unload the local unload because this the data that's already in there, maybe from like a different loader entirely, who which may have some weird connection to external pointers that it needs to clean up. So I cannot. So I need to call a specific unloader and context, which I do not have access to right now. Um, but let's actually see, let's make sure first of all that we can load it, shall we? Uh, I didn't actually build. Do, 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 do. Request resource load. You're right. This is in completely gone. This function isn't even used anymore, is it? Nope. It's gone. Right, yes. Uh, this was changed back to void. V -v -v void. And now I need to go find the other locations, which there were several of. So we got that. We got that. that I have to go back to registrar I'll bet change this up to be that oh and yeah if it fails to do that then it goes p post so actually it'll be like p
nope, nope. Problems, problems, problems. The pool is expecting, yeah. That, that, and then in. Oh no, yeah, because the constructor's still up here. Out of line for that. You're right. Whatever happens in here, the this load function is going to be dealing with the, the, the post load stuff. Good stable state again? Yes. Let's grab a bunch of things again. Ah, oh, this is taking a while. Stage. Okay. Time for another break. Okay. <clears throat> so, coming to unloading, right? So what I'm thinking of for unloading is effectively much like these other items for loading, important load. It'll be a couple of, uh, let's say, and it would be something that goes along with the data that's moved around with the data. The, uh, blah, blah, the data. So void star p unload context. We have a function void p unload function. Uh, which takes the void star context and this yeah this that is provided or So, okay, what I'm, yeah, under the loader, the loader, the loader, uh, when we do the data, then we say data dot trade info equals that. Equals this, data dot p unload function equals a function that'll be like privately held in here somewhere. So we'll just for the loader we'll have and void star p resource. star p resource we know what type it is we know it's that we know if we're here the p context is
that. So how this is going to work up here is if uh, this and data p unload function of the null pointer is going to become That and we've got P collision shape. I don't want, yeah, I don't want to accidentally, okay, um, if I, okay, let me think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if I have it like this, I may have, like, this is not equal to null pointer, then I come into here, but there may be the case where, This gets unloaded by someone else, or in fact, like gets locked for loading by someone else before I reach this, and then I'm getting get in a really bad state. So if I'm modifying the data, which I am, I need to lock this, but then I can't do the unload function stuff either, can I? Because it becomes p collision shape. Um, Modify sync dot lock. I need to unlock this as well afterwards. Um, there is right now it's a regular mutex, right? So this is. I've lost all. I need to restart so I can get the. Uh, stuff back. Come on. Okay, that's 40 bytes. What about a. Well, not a shared one, a recursive. Mutex. That's 40 bytes as well. I can probably live with the overhead for that. So if I lock it, sorry, I need this. What? Hold on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I'll need to come back for this in a short while for sure. Okay, when I'm in here, I lock it, I go inside, I lock it again, I do the stuff that's required for clearing this up, which means um, I need to do like what data dot Can I do that? Will that just Will 
that would just replace the, everything with uh, clear. So that would be clear. That would be clear. That would be clear. Null. And that would be null. Okay. And then we then we exit out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now I need to figure out this. Reference to non-static member function must be called. So do I change this to static? Let's go to core. Like that. Hmm. Okay. Now, the context is, why, why did I need the context? Right, because I was going to delay delete things, but I'm not, not in this case. In this case, I'm just kind of, okay, uh, process unloads. So let's say someone's requested it to be unloaded. Here. Okay. Uh, do that. And there we go. So if whatever this was, if data dot That's how we unload it. Uh, under the pool, there is the unload all, right? Still goes through and unloads all the resources. Okay. going in we have we're loading something but the collision shape already has data no it must have just been um, from the initial creation of the object in the first place so this just needs to be like Is that how you? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Uh, I still have the unload right call somewhere. really <sighs> on here so that's flown away mm -hmm. so this never happened that never happened it just never gets called right that's what's going on here Yeah, that's all. Okay. 
under application we go here Where do I uh, here? I go through. The, okay, so we'll just add one for physics. To do that. We got the faux fizz collision shape pool. I just don't have it here. Okay, so how is this going to work? actually have anything that's going to go through and do that do I Okay, interesting. Uh, why do I have this elsewhere? Yeah, we have these ones, and then we have a couple, yeah, down here. Unload requests and unload requests. Hmm. Oh, crap, as well as Hold on, I need to make sure that I'm unloading the right version that was requested in the unload. Pro oh, I don't even have unload processing here yet. Anyways, m unload requests dot. Okay, so that was unloading it immediately, which isn't what we want to do from collision shape. Anyways, we want to. Uh, we want to have a boolean. The idea behind the boolean is that it's going to tell us whether or not we want it to be unloaded immediately or not. If it's an immediate unload, then we could do this. Otherwise, we're going to have to go ahead and do uh, the other thing where we just add it to the unload lists. Unload requests list. Sync.lock.
it's now in the safe we're in the safe maintenance cycle to do unloading so then we can run um, my very weird little function uh, this Trader dot depletion shape. Oh, and I need it to be this version specifically that I'm talking about the iteration. I forgot about that. And true media unload. Increment the iteration because it's changed. Okay. Otherwise, we're doing this where we adding um, unload requests. Sync.lock. We're requesting to do the resource. Sorry. Um, unload data. Okay, uh, okay, that fixes that up, and it's the loader. That's no longer compatible until I find here. So void star that, and we go back to collision shape when we're trying to unload. It's this and um, iteration false. So then it can go in to the shape pool and do another modify sync.
all this to safely concurrently load resources through a fairly rare operation that I'm pretty sure everyone else just loads serially anyways at the beginning of a level or something. But if I get this right, this is not even that. Hold on. What are the size of the files? 150, okay. 90, 117, plus some stuff in the registrar, these two functions. In the grand scheme of things, it's really not that much code. There's really not that much code actually going on. Uh-huh, oh, got a bit of a problem there. Unload function, so that, that, that. Sorry, that, that. Um. And it's for true. I mean, right now this will basically go to this or rather this, but that's only because we only have the one one the one loader. When we have other loaders, it'll have to follow the same pattern. Hmm. Cursed mutex. Not really a fan, but Again, fairly rare operation. I can probably take the hit. Um, maintenance going on, what overrides a member? Yes, you're right. Realistically, these are just final. Going back to the application here, not really here, but up here, I was going to do unload all, and then I'd have to go into the loader. this out that sorry both is collision shape loader that's not even here place shape pool yes we're going to here please go into here so I can actually <sighs> great we're here we go into unload resource great we have modify sync this is a real thing it's going in great mm -hmm. it's 
not for immediate, right? We're adding it to this list. We load it in, so it's one right now. Great. So we went through all the resources, we did that. We're going to find this, we're going to go inside. We're going to have one thing to unload. It's on this collision shape for that iteration, we're going to go inside. Iteration one, great. Increment the iteration to two, and then we leave, and then we're done. Okay. Let us build with address sanitizer. Let's see. You know, what I've probably missed. So give that a little bit of time to build. Okay, and that's done. So let's uh, build for engine. Okay, no issues yet. And what do we got? Okay, that's expected. Uh, that is something I've got to figure out. Uh, here we go. Uh, no, this is shader stuff. No new address leaks. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's 9672, that magic number. Okay. So, this is kind of, this is all right. There's a lot of positive I like about this. Uh, but I, I gotta clean this up a little bit, especially it's kind of the. I'm pretty sure I'm overusing function pointers just a little bit. I'm sure I can. Uh, uh, my, I've been at it for almost two, three hours. Okay. I am sure. That there's some things I can kind of move back. Like I'm pretty sure I can probably move back some of this back into um, the collision shape. Anyways, like the moving of data, perhaps. Maybe no, because that that's going to depend on a bunch of stuff internally, isn't it? Hmm. This this stuff is generic enough that I can probably move this back into the collision shape. Ah, but maybe 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 not. There's not that much here, but I don't like having all there's a bit too much stuff in here. I'm going to have to just take a gander at this. Load create info. Let's, let's have a look at these things again. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of a nice. The fact that this is separate. How big is the resource anyways? The resource base anyways. Uh, the whole thing is what? 120 bytes. Without even considering like the rest of it. So this is, so this would be common, 120 common bytes. Realistically, it'll also include these, so another 16. Yeah. Oh, yes, change this up to this new resource state type. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
change that down. Then we can go into request load. Uh, we do not do that by default. Or what's it called? Load. Oh yeah, these can these can be moved, right? Into the base class. They can. I mean, do I still want to do this? I'm pretty sure. You know what? No, 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 no. Let's just simplify it and we just say, hey, we just increment and if you want less implied behavior. Resource state. We've got a few items for that, no doubt. So if mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here, yep, and yep. If it failed. Then it failed. Don't try to load it again and don't add it. Yeah, that still makes sense. Okay. Uh, let's split out. Okay, let's. Save these changes. And then let's split out the base class that I have going on in here. So to flow simulation, I guess. And resource. Realistically, resource is going to be destroyed eventually. Because these things will be part, these specific items will be parsed out to other like specific libraries. Like then the base classes will be kind of subsumed into the simulation. So we'll put it here. So that. that no problem what okay we need this we need uh, this Atomic and mutex, okay, that's great. Uh, memory is also something we get here. I don't know why GLM is here. Oh, it's for that, right, yeah. Load state, nope. Create info base for that, export, okay. us these things. Uh, standard error code is part of this. Good. 
Mm, yes, is the answer. Uh, okay, this is something that can be moved around from here because it's no longer specifically tied to this. It's instead tied to the low. Okay, I got a few. That worked. That and that. Load up. Okay, move this from here. It's going into shape loader. It belongs here realistically. So loader base, resource base, or rather. Uh, create info base now belongs here. Why do we have this? For these, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, system error. Vector mutex. Base collision shape. We actually have the whole collision shape in Y. Yeah, for the data. So we don't need, that's not forward declared anymore. And we need GLM though. Uh, BT collision shape for that. Okay, uh, that now means inside of here or here. One of these. You no longer require that. You just require that to get access to the clear, the create info. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe not. Uh, I've got a bit of a problem on collision shape because I need to know the size of the create info base. I do need it. Dang it. I don't like that. I have to keep bringing it, bringing it in for everything. Okay. Wait, this would, no, it's shape pool, yeah. As shape pool bringing, oh, the shape loader though, brings in the whole component, yeah. Right, uh, asynchronous. Oh. Okay. Mm 
Okay, I'm just going to call it here for tonight, and I'll just clean it up and do the asynchronous stuff next time. Yeah, all right. Cheers.